Welcome to Photoshop Pro. Today we'll be looking at On One Software's Perfect Resize 7, formerly known as Gen Genuine Fractals. It's my image now. Uh, I played with this image already. Uh, ran it through Topaz Labs' new, brand new, as of early September 2011, black and white effects. And put kind of an antique -y border around it as well. Uh, I've downsized this, as you can see, to 72 pixels per inch resolution and saved it as a JPEG, so I want to see how we're going to do with a low-resolution JPEG in doing a 400% enlargement. I've got it at 1 to 1, so that's a 100% view. And it's coming in at 800 pixels by 694, and as I say, 400% enlargement, so I want to bring this up to about 3,200 pixels on the long side. Easier way to do that is just click on your units here, select percent, and then go ahead and just put in 400. Give it a couple of seconds for the effect to come in. And here's the result after our 400% enlargement, which requires the program to basically invent literally tens of millions of pixels. So we're going to need to do a little bit of work here. It's looking a little bit blocky. And we can do that right down here, texture control. Smoothness now, do I want to bring in the smooth? If I bring the smoothness all the way down, it's actually getting a little bit better. And if I bring it all the way up and bring the threshold down, it gets a little weird. So let me go ahead and bring that threshold all the way up, almost all the way up, and bring the smoothness down a little bit more. That's looking a little bit better. Take a look around here. That's pretty good. That's looking actually pretty good over there. And let's see what the people look like. Okay, that's looking pretty good for a 400% enlargement. Um, in terms of the sizes you want to bring in, you can also get your presets over here, and it gives you a bunch of different selections. Photographic, for example, it gives you a lot of standard sizes. If I wanted to bring this in by a 40 by 50, for example, uh, let me just click on that. And what will happen, see, it puts this crop box around the image for a 40 by 50. Now, you can play with this crop box by grabbing the handles and resizing if you want to. You've got texture control there to fine-tune the image in terms of uh, its softness or the details. And you also have sharpening capabilities down here, which run pretty much just like the Unsharp mask in Photoshop. Amount radius, and you can work on highlights only or shadows only. You can add film grain if you like. Give it, it's pretty good actually. I kind of like that. It gives it even a more old-timey feel to it. Tiling. What you can do here on these options is you can split your image uh, into boxes, basically, or sections. Uh, if your image is coming in much bigger than your printer can actually handle, what you might want to do, and some people do enjoy this technique, is splitting the picture into smaller sections, printing out each one of them. And then you can actually mount each one of those on frames and hang them on the wall. Hang them on the wall. It's kind of a cool effect. The other option that um, Perfect Resize 7 gives you is this thing called Gallery Wrap. Now, what this is, is some people like to take their images and print them on canvas and then mount them on canvas board. Well, you've got to wrap your image around uh, um, these, these uh, mounting bars or stretcher bars, they call them, around the canvas uh, to fix it to the canvas. Now, these stretcher bars can be up to two inches in thickness. So what this will do, the gallery wrap, is it will expand the edges of your image, as it has done right here. It'll just duplicate it so you have extra room to wrap your image around the stretcher bars for a canvas. You've got presets you can download here. And if you like the way it's looking, we'll go ahead and just leave it. We'll bring that up to a one-to-one -one again and see what's going on. And there we go. I kind of like that grain effect a lot. Gives it a real, even more of a kind of old-timey feel to it. And that's about it. Um, good program. Good for enlargements. 
gives you some flexibility. And once you're done with all your little tweaking around here, just click Apply or click Cancel to start all over again. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.